Now, okay, so. But do we really have any choice about any of this? Well, it depends, depends who you're asking. And it depends who's asking the question. Who just asked the question? Susan did. No, Susan can't speak. Oh, I, I, okay, but me did. Yeah, the no, me. no, the me can't speak. Okay, yes. Got you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, you know, the, the the me I've, I've said the me is deaf, dumb, and blind. Yeah, it, it can't see, hear, taste, touch, smell. It's not conscious and it's not aware. So, so any time not... I'm seeing, tasting, touching, smelling, it's not that me. I think I am correct. Now that doesn't it beg the question: What is it that's seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, yes. and smelling? What is yes. it that what is it that just spoke? Yes, it's not the me character at all see i <laughs> see people see people have got this understanding that the me character is something real and right. one day it'll just drop away yeah right. it'll it'll like disappear and then or some people will think it's think it's going to die you know what i mean just yeah and then you're left then you then then you discover true self <laughs> yeah. there's never been a me character there ever all it is is a pattern of thoughts that's all the me is see we think we're aware of the me right because yeah. you're you're aware of your thoughts right right yeah yeah and you're I'm, I'm assuming that you're also aware that it's your thoughts that that that, that narrate the me story right okay so you're aware of the thoughts right yes Good. which means you're aware of the me being created just with thoughts. Huh? So it can't be the me that's aware of the me being created. It's got to be something else. But this something else we've been calling me our whole life. Yeah. You got that? Yeah. There's, there's never been a me. It's not like there's one there and... And then it goes away. There's never been one there. There's just the mistaken belief that this that is seeing, hearing, tasting, touching and smelling, and this that is conscious and this that is aware is Susan. This that is aware of the thoughts is Susan. This that's aware of the body is Susan. This that's aware of feelings in the body is Susan. And it's not. Is there awareness? Yes. Is there consciousness? Yes. Is there seeing, hearing, tasting, touching and smelling? Yes. Is there awareness of the body? Yes. Is there awareness of thoughts? Yes. The question is, is it Susan that's doing all that? <laughs> and it's not. It's so funny because <laughs> I hear that and I'm, I'm on one level grasping it, but immediately my mind comes behind and wants to say, okay, but. Oh, then let it. Let it. Let's challenge it. Let's hear what it's got to say. The mind. Yeah, but what? Come on, but, mind. A but that comes up for me is, and I know, apart conceptually, I know I'm not the body. But then why would an awakening imply there'd be no sense of you and me anymore? There's <laughs> There, there is no sense of me here. Do you sense a separate person you're talking to? No. Can you sense what I sense? No. That's the part I can't understand. Why couldn't you feel what I'm feeling? Because I'm here. And, oh, not, that, and, and, and not that the here has a location. Look, okay. look, you have, look, it's like this. And, and, I paint this picture because I don't know how else to describe what's happening. Okay? okay. So let's call this a pointer. All right. Okay. Just for the, yeah, because I don't want you to get too, I'm just, I don't want you to latch onto this too tightly. But so let me do it this way. 
I don't know how many light bulbs there are on the planet, but there's more light bulbs on the planet, I'm guessing, than people. I'm guessing. So let's just for argument's sake say there's 16 billion light globes on the planet, okay? Just for, yeah. yeah. And each light globe believes it's an individual. Some light globes are 25 watt, some are 2 watt, some are 2,000 watt light globes. Some are different shapes, some are blue, red, yellow, gold, some are neon, all different shapes and sizes and so on. Right? And each light globe absolutely believes it's separate, it's an individual, it's responsible for its own colour, its own shape, yeah, because it has a will, yeah, right. and, it look, and it looks down upon light bulbs so let's say a 100 watt light bulb looks down upon people that are 25 watt light bulbs. So this is just because you're not trying. Okay? Yeah. I'm making yeah. it up, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, what each light bulb fails dismally to recognize is that that that's animating all of them is electricity. Electricity. Now, the electricity doesn't give a shit what light bulb is. Electricity is just an energy, and it, there it is, electricity. Yeah, and then, and then animates all the different light bulbs that there are on the planet. Yeah, and each, but each light bulb is believing it's separate. You take away the electricity, and they all just all of them would stop. Yeah? yeah. So, if we want to use the word God, okay. If we want to use that word, yeah. God in its infinite, absolute oneness, when it's not divided, we're talking about before Adam and Eve, right? right. When it when when it's not divided, yeah. What could it know? Nothing. Remember, yeah, because it's one. It's not right. made up of parts. Right. It's just one so it can't know anything nothing yeah so for god to have a seeming experience if you like yeah like electricity yeah it creates the world creates seeming human beings yeah and then that consciousness of god god being another word for god is consciousness or awareness if you want to call it that yeah animates through each of these bodies and it's responsible for each body. It's God moving the hands now. Right. Yeah. It's God that sees. It's God that hears. It's God that's conscious and aware. But it's also God that creates the thoughts that come through here. Right. Yeah. And then creates the seeming person. If it didn't, and, and, then, and then to create the seeming person, God must forget that it's one. To have the experience of a finite, a finite little person, but there's eight right. billion, there's eight billion little persons walking around on the planet, and no one's responsible for their thoughts, even when people think they're responsible for their thoughts. Thoughts just happen. So no free will at all, really. Of course, not personal free will. Right. There's one free will. Right. If you want to call that God's free will, yeah. There's no personal free will right that that and if you remove that if you remove the consciousness or if you move the godliness or the awareness whatever name you want to put on it yeah if you remove that what do you think happens to this just like the light bulb you remove the electricity right, boom. right. yeah so <laughs> If non-duality is true, then thou art that. Right. Stop taking yourself to be the finite little person. You've been doing that. You even created it to have an experience of Susan. And now you've been on this non-dual path, God, to awaken to yourself. That's who I'm speaking to. Right. Now, the mind's going to have a field day with that, right? I know it will. It'll have a field day with that. What the? 
You know what my mind does and what it does more and more is shuts down. Yeah, which is good. It does not. No. Yep. No. The reason it does that is because it's limited. See, I don't know. Man. Look. <laughs> Everyone's on this non-dual path. Nobody knows what duality is. Have you ever pondered duality? Yeah. Wait. Look, seriously. We're all trying to work out what non-duality is, right? Not having a clue what duality is. What is it? I always think the Garden of Eden, and I think about Adam and Eve coming into awareness, and their brain was structured in such a way that they felt separate from everything else and started naming everything else. That's duality. Well, that's an interesting story about duality, but that's where God splits. God splits. Right. He creates two. Right. Interesting. It's a, it's an interesting story. The Adam and Eve. It's just a story. Yeah. But that's where the two starts. There. Yeah. Now, in your own direct experience, your direct experience. Yeah. What you know about duality. What the hell is it? What is it? I'm sure you could tell me a lot about non-duality. I'm sure you could, because you would have learned a lot and you would have, you know. But what, what can you tell me about duality? It's in the mind, I guess, is what I would say. Haven't it's you? Condition. Ha, ha, it's condition. Have, yeah, yeah, but ha, have you noticed that the only place, the only place duality arises is in the mind? Yeah. It's the only place. Yeah, that's something that I <laughs> have moments of kind of getting, and then it's like, well, yeah. wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then what do we? Then what do we do? Right? Then we yeah. use a, Then we use the dualistic instrument, the mind, to try and work out what non-dual is. <laughs> Good yeah. luck with that. It's not possible. That's why my teacher said, so, "Yeah, he keeps saying the answer's not in the mind, Terry." It's not in the mind. But how do you get out of the mind? I mean, that's what the whole idea behind meditation is. And spending, I spent years doing meditation to try to get to a place of not getting caught up in the mind. But I can't control that. Correct. So that's a waste of time. Yeah. It's a waste of time. What, what uh, um, Sailor Bob said to me years ago, yeah, if you're going to meditate, meditate on the meditator. Who the hell is sitting here meditating? <laughs> Meditate on that. Nothing else. Don't sit there meditating, trying to quieten the mind down. He said, you'll never be able to do it. But you have to ask the question with the mind. But what I'm hearing is you have to get the answer. It has to come from. No. You can't You've got come a, to the mind. Look, we've got a dualistic mind. Okay. Right. That's right. the only tool that we've got. Right. Right? I mean, apart from the fact that we're conscious and aware and so on. But the problem with being conscious and aware and so on is we think that's me. So that's a useless tool at this stage. It's a useless yeah. tool, right? Conscious and awareness. But the mind, because it works dualistically, what we can use that for is just to discover what we're not. Am I thoughts? Like you're aware of thoughts, that's two, right? right. Me and you know, aware of thought. Am I the thoughts? You know? right. Do I do right. I have free will? Does time exist? You know, blah, blah, blah. You can work out using the mind and just garden variety, ordinary, everyday logic. You can work out what the me is. Once you anything, anything I'm aware of is not me. Anything I see is it's not me. You're aware of the thoughts? I'm, I'm aware of the thoughts, but they're not me. Right. Are you aware of sound coming out of your mouth at the moment when yes. you're speaking? That's not you. Right. Who's speaking then? You know the me, you know the me is not aware, right? Right. 
Okay. Yet yeah. there's a yeah. good, yet there's awareness of thoughts, right? Right. Who's aware? Uh, <laughs> awareness is aware of awareness. No, awareness can't be aware of awareness. Being aware of awareness is just a pointer, but you cannot be aware of awareness. That would imply two. Do you you're with me? Yes. You see how it would imply two? Yeah. It's right. an all it's an all right pointer because sometimes I use that pointer with people. You know, yeah. I say, look, as a human being, we live in this state of being conscious of all day long. Conscious of thoughts, conscious of the body, conscious of feelings in the body, conscious of people, conscious of our surroundings, conscious of, 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 of a myriad of things all day long. Right. That's where we live as a seeming separate person. Yeah. Right. So what I, I try and get people to do, and I use this, and it's a pointer, yeah. Instead of living in this state of being conscious of, how about you shift it? to being aware of consciousness only. That's where this comes in. One thing. Yep. Yep. Just one thing. Still a pointer. Right. Yeah. But at least it kind of hones you into here. And now this is your only interest instead of being conscious of all the things that we're normally conscious of throughout the course of the day. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. See, look, honestly, Susan, until you know what you're not, what you're not will persist. Until right. you know what you're not, and I mean, no, like, no. You, until you know what you're not, what you're not will persist. Right. Yeah. So I know you're aware that thoughts just happen, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yet there's still a Susan there that has personal thoughts about the, the thoughts that just happened, correct? Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, what's actually happening? is there's thoughts just happening and this Susan character and the personal thoughts that are happening about the thoughts that are just happening, right? These two here, the Susan character and the supposed personal thoughts are also only happening in the thoughts that just happen. There is only that. Just the thoughts. Correct. hundred percent. There's no, yeah. pers there's no personal me there that has personal thoughts. There's seeming personal thoughts. I'll acknowledge that. There's seeming personal thoughts and there's a seeming personal character. But, the, but what creates the seeming personal character and the seeming personal thoughts is the thoughts that just happen. <laughs> That's all it is, Susan. It's there's all... a little bit, there's a glimpse there of real freedom. Yeah, yeah, because you're not that. Yeah. You're not that. And it's only this that's saying, I haven't got it yet. I feel like shit. My, my, <laughs> heart's, my heart's closed over. I'm not feeling the love. Where's the joy? Where blah, blah, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. It's this. <laughs> it's just this. Saying that, yeah. <laughs> It's well, I take it so seriously sometimes. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it's relatively easy coming to see that thoughts just happen. Right. That's relatively easy because you can't stop them, right? Right, right. <laughs> so, so you're not I've doing tried. it. <laughs> right. So they, they just happen, yeah? But so too does this idea of a personal self and the personal thoughts that just happens also now you need to catch that arising as you've caught the thoughts that just happen you've got no idea what's going to come out of your mouth next it'll just come out spontaneously you have no idea what so-called personal thought you're going to have it'll just arise and it just arises with all the other personal thoughts 
You don't know. You don't actually know. <laughs> what are you going to be thinking in 5.678 seconds from now? You've got no clue. You know, just whatever it is, just arise and that's what you've got to catch. Yeah. It's easy catching. Yeah. You know, and it's awareness that's making the mistake, not a Susan that's making the mistake. You are aware. It's the awareness right. that's making the mistake. Still creating a seeming personal character. There's something in there. I was reading uh, Nadim. Onions yes. Onions yeah, yeah. Curls. Yeah. There's something that when I was reading him, I used to have really struggle with the notion of no free will mm. because I wanted to have my own free will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then one day there was a, it was like a switch went off. When I was reading his book, it was, thank God, there's no free will. And I felt it for a minute. What you're talking about, that personal self being connected to the thoughts too that are rising, all, it's all the same. That's kind of how that felt with the personal free will. Look, the personal There's self. freedom in it. The, yeah. The free will thing is easy. That's easy. Because I don't know about you. <laughs> well, I, I reckon I do. You know, 20, 10, 20 years ago, 20 years ago, if I had free will, the very first thing that I would have done was change my thoughts. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It would have been the first thing. I couldn't. And it was thoughts that were <laughs> dictating my me. Oh, yeah. Thoughts were dictating my me. So, of course, if I could change, that would be the first thing. Now, where's the free will? See, we think we have free will as a personal self, right? Because look, right. I can, I can do that. And what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. and what I'm saying is, it's not personal self doing that. Right. I mean, what can a thought do? Can a That's thought? That's helpful though to realize yeah. that the thoughts and this sense of personal self really are the same thing. Yeah, 100% the same thing. And you need to see that, yeah? That's what I'm yeah. saying. You need to come to see what you're not. The freedom is in that. Right. That's when the, yeah. And then a funny thing happens. When you fully see what you're not, you're left with what you are. And that that you are is right here. Right. <laughs> right here. It's just the mind, Susan, the mind your whole life has been calling this right here-ness, Susan, 